Welcome to the first Advent Evening Prayer of 2020. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise for ever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. We now have the psalm for the day. Psalm 25, 1-10 In you, Lord my God, I put my trust. I trust in you. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God my Saviour and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love. For they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in his way. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful towards those who keep the demands of his covenant. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Behold, I am coming soon, says the Lord, and bringing my reward with me to give to everyone according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who do God's commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter into the city through the gates. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to you with this testimony for all the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the bright morning star. Come, says the Spirit and the bride, come. Let each hearer reply, come forward, you who are thirsty. Let those who desire take the water of life as a gift. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. And now we have the scripture readings. This is 1 Corinthians 1, 3 to 9. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I always thank my God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. For in him you have been enriched in every way, with all kinds of speech and with all knowledge. God thus confirming our testimony about Christ among you. Therefore you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will also keep you 
firm to the end, so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, who has called you into fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And now we have Mark 13 to 20, 30, 24 to 37. But in those days following the distress, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time people will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory and he will send his angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that it is near right at the door. Truly I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard, be alert. You do not know when that time will come. It's like a man going away. He leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each with their assigned task and tells the one at the door to keep watch. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening, or at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everyone, watch. This is the words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy the mercy made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. And now we have the reflection for this evening. Advent is a word that many people associate with Advent calendars, each day bringing a little treat to enjoy on the countdown to Christmas Day. The word Advent actually means coming and is a time of spiritual preparation for the commemoration of the birth of Jesus and also his second coming. Anticipation of what is to happen can itself be an opportunity to prepare and think about steps that could be taken in order to be ready for an event. We have a lot of suspense at present regarding Covid vaccines, and restrictions, but there are steps we can make in the meantime that keep us safe. During the time of Advent, we can all look at ourselves and see if there are steps we can make to make ourselves spiritually ready for Jesus. Love, kindness, compassion and prayers can all help us be better prepared. And now we have the Collect for today. Almighty God, as your kingdom dawns Turn us from the darkness of sin to the light of holiness, that we may be ready to meet you in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
We will have time of open prayer. If you wish to say a prayer, please do so where there's a silence. Loving God, please guide and support everyone during this Advent. Please help our church to reach out to all within the community so that they may know your love and compassion. Please guide all our leaders during this crisis so that they make the right decisions. Loving God, we pray for the sick and for those who suffer, for all in nursing homes and hospices at our parish, and for those who are housebound. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Dear Lord, please give strength and comfort to all those who have suffered from this pandemic and guide them. In Jesus' name, Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sisters, fear not, dear brothers, all you who yearn for the Lord. The night is long and the fight is hard, but no Christ has already won. Although we see the sun go dark and the moon. Fires may burn, you shine.